Hello, Cancers. So this is the bi-weekly reading. Okay, so I'm going to start with the romance angel first. So, universe, give me a four-card spread. What's going on with Cancers love life from February the 15th to the 28th, 2021? Universe, give me a four-card spread. Very soon, universe, give me three more cards. What's going on with Cancers love life from February the 15th to the 28th? Soulmate, universe, give me two more cards. Release your ex. Universe, give me one more card. What's going on with Cancer's love life for February 15th to the 28th, 2021? Universe, give me one more card. What's going on? Deception. <sighs> okay, Cancer's, your ex is coming back. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. So, very soon, soulmate, release your ex in deception. I feel like this is a person that you did thought was a soulmate for you okay probably this, this person is a soulmate but is a a negative one a karmic one okay um this one is coming back okay that karmic connection is trying to resurface okay it's deceptive it's based on codependency not real authentic love um but i feel like a lot of you guys learned that lesson and i feel like a lot of you guys are going to entertain it okay but i feel like it's going to tempt you Okay, that's what I'm getting. So the signs, this person could be a Pisces, a Gemini. I've got a lot of blue. Um, so Aquarius, Libra, um, a fire sign, particularly an Aries. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. So let's see. Universe, give me a five card spread. What's going on with Cancer's love life for February the 15th? chariot so i'm seeing that you guys are in your power i feel like a lot of you guys are going to be moving forward success is definitely here okay so universe give me four more cards what's going on with cancel up by for february 15 okay i got the tower and six of pentacles and ace of pentacles Ooh, i feel like a lot of you guys are going to receive unexpected money okay so that's good um also what i'm getting is that you are going to get an offer you are going to get like an unexpected offer um, from a job, a company, um, and also from a lover. Okay. This is going to be a new person. This is going to be a balanced connection. This is like this, like, this is something that you never experienced before. Okay. So this person might be your divine partner. Universe, give me three more cards. What's going on with counters of life for February 15th to the 28th, 2021. Yeah. I don't feel like you need to worry about this person. This is somebody who's honest, reliable. Okay. Yeah. Someone who who did the inner work okay also with the devil in reverse i feel like this is you releasing any past people any past regrets any past disappointment any past resentment i feel like a lot of you guys are going to release that okay universe give me one more card what's going on with cancer's love life february the 15th to the 28th yeah because the cycle is closed okay the cycle is closed i feel like it's going to be bittersweet okay um, because you remember the good times that you have with this person, but the cycle is done, okay? Um, I feel like a lot of you guys learned your lesson, and that karmic connection is going to be expired. The contract is basically expired because you learned your lesson with it, and it's like you're you're not even tempted, even though it might seem as a temptation at first, okay? So it's a little bit bittersweet. Universe, clarify the Five of Cups. Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, something is not starting with the karmic, okay? Which is good. Because <laughs> I feel like it was just going to be worse and worse. Universe, clarify the Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you are rejecting this person. You're rejecting this person who was very negative in your life. Very toxic. Universe, clarify the Four of Cups. Yep, and you are healed, okay? Or you are going to be healed. So that's good. Universe, clarify the world. Seven of Pentacles in reverse and three swords. Yeah, I feel like you are closing out chapters with people who cause pain, okay? You're no longer interested and no longer invested into those situations anymore, okay? I feel like a lot of you guys have a different type now, okay? Universe, clarify three swords, seven pentacles in reverse. Universe, clarify three swords and seven pentacles in reverse. Yeah, knight of wands and eight of swords. Yeah, this is somebody who's trying to come back into your life, but it was going to be the same person, inconsistent, um, that situation is done and it's over with. I feel like this person's still dealing with other people. Okay. Universe, clarify the devil in reverse. Universe, clarify the devil in reverse. 
universe covered its own risk king of cups in the verse so you probably was dealing with another water sign um this is somebody who's very emotionally manipulative very toxic i feel like you finally released this person out of your life universe covered by the king of cups in the verse yeah you you stepping into your power with the queen of wands okay and you're turning down this person universe covered by the nine of swords in reverse universe covered by the nine of swords in reverse the lovers in reverse yeah you're no longer stressed about love because you found that clarity and a lot of you guys did your inner work you start healing yourself universe cover the lovers in reverse universe cover the lovers in reverse four of pentacles in reverse yeah you release this it's no longer a problem universe clarify the chariot universe clarify the chariot universe clarify the chariot yeah you're done with it okay universe clarify the four of swords universe clarify the four of swords yeah you're done with it because this is somebody who always mistreat you Someone who didn't appreciate you, undervalue you, you're done with it. You're stepping back into your power. Universe, clarify the inference in reverse. Universe, clarify the inference in reverse. Yeah, this is somebody who's still spy on you, okay? So, universe, clarify the tower, six of pentacles, and the ace of pentacles. Oh, Lord. So, I feel like you are going to receive a new blessing. This could be monetarily, or this could be with a lover, a new lover, who's going to be very serious and good for you. Um, it's going to come really unexpectedly, probably when you're at work. But at the same time, there's going to be a past person that's going to try to resurface. I feel like you're done with the situation because you learned your lesson, okay? Um, but this person's going to come back around. They are the, still the same person. They're probably even worse, okay? Universe cut by five pentacles in reverse. Universe cut by five pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this person had been waiting for you to see if you're going to accept them back, okay? Because they thought that you will all time be there. Okay, and this person was probably codependent on you as well. Um, but I feel like you are going to walk into a new chapter of your life. Okay, and this is going to lead to stability. I feel like the new person might be a Scorpio or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, but this is somebody who have a lot to offer. They want the same thing that you want, um, and something that's going to be completely different than what you experienced. Okay, so that's good. So the signs. So like I was mentioning, the Scorpio. A towards where Capricorn is a newer person. Um, the past might be in, um, another water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a fixed sign, um, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, okay, a Aries, okay, an another Cancer, I think I already mentioned that, um, or a Gemini. Um, but I'm definitely seeing things are changing for you guys, okay? I look at this one. So, voyage of the heart. Love flows through you and to you. Wow, I like this. Okay, that's good. So, yeah, love is definitely here, Cancers. And I feel like it's through you moving on. Voyage is about travel. So, moving on with your journey, moving on with your path. And and it's opening you up to love, okay? And the universe trying to say you are love, so you are going to attract love, okay? So, universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for Cancers pertaining to your love life for February the 15th to the 28th, 2021? Universe, give me one more card. What messages do you have for Cancers pertaining to your love life? Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, I got Mystic Healer. So I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be tapping into your power, okay? Um, you guys are water, so you guys are very... Um, very intuitive so you guys can feel people energy some of you guys are empath as well and you're probably you probably have an actual gift of feeling people energy and making them feel better so mystic killer healing energy flows through you and also i feel like a lot of you guys are going to be healing yourself as well so i do got the star card um and then i also got grace and gratitude through gratitude joy expand so the universe is trying to say be grateful for everything even for that negative experience i feel like it taught you so much valuable lessons like but karmic relationships, they're the worst, but they really cause a breakthrough, you know, because it's transforming yourself. It's you addressing your shadow because this person is a shadow to you. So it's like you addressing your shadow within your own self because we track who we are, okay? So with, deep in within ourself, our shadow, you are seeing a front center with this person in your face. So it's making you reflect and go back to yourself and start seeing what are things that you need to heal, okay? And I feel like a lot of you guys learned that lesson. 
and it's transforming you. It's making you become a better person. It's making you become a better person for yourself and for others. Um, making you have higher standards, higher boundaries, making you know your worth, knowing that you are God's child, okay? And making you have a um, another path, another path to happiness, okay? So I, the universe is trying to say be grateful for that experience because it taught you so much valuable lessons, okay? Then I got unknown territory and passion and pleasure. Yeah, so I feel like this new person that's going to come in your life, this is going to be completely different for you completely different so this person will be a different race a different background it's going to be completely different okay unknown territory you're exactly where you need to be passion and pleasure savor your life okay so the universe is trying to say be more open to um this love then crossing bridges it's time for healing connecting mending and releasing okay so you might be you might see this past person again but the universe is trying to say don't run away from this past person more like kind of heal the situation you need to address them you need to talk to them but more like not trying to run away because you think that you're going to be tempted the more you try, the universe is trying to say you have power over this understand the reason and why this person come back see if there's any form of resentment because usually when you have resentment that's why the past come back and if you do, the universe is trying to say, let it go, release it, because it taught you a valuable lesson. It made you become who you are today. So the universe is trying to say, just be grateful, okay? And forgiving, forgiving the situation. Then I also got distant thunder and gates of trumpet, okay? The so distant thunder is clearing the air, okay? So probably you do, you guys do want to communicate with them. Okay, communicate. Um, clear the air with them. And then with gates of trumpet, success expands in your life. So success is definitely here. And I'm seeing you are going to move on from this particular person as well. Okay. Yeah, so I feel like there's going to be unexpected love, okay? I really do see that. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. Yep. Universe, give me four cards spread. What messages do you have for cancers pertaining to the love life of February 15th to the 28th, 2021? Universe, give me two more cards. Universe, give me two more cards. What messages do you have for cancers pertaining to the love life for February 15th to the 28th? Right, at the bottom of the deck, I got coffee cups. So, yeah, this is about dating. I feel like you are going to meet somebody new. And this is somebody who's completely different. This is going to be authentic, too. Authentic love. So, meeting, conversing, saving the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship. So, you guys might start off as friends, okay? Then I got love. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction, okay? And I feel like a lot of you guys attracted this person because you guys have been putting yourself first in a positive way you guys have been taking care of yourself loving yourself okay appreciating yourself then i also got dragonfly and butterfly so both of these about expansion and movement okay that's what flies do flies always move around so i feel like a lot of you guys are going to be moving forward um be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light adapt change and heal butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child and growth yeah because of you healing your old wounds your love life is evolving and is getting better. And a lot of you guys are connecting with a newer person who is going to be treating you great, okay? And then I also got date, okay? So yeah, there's new energy that's here for you. Meaning someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan to date, then cassette and coffin. I feel like you're definitely going to close a chapter out of your life. Um, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over your, in your head, coffin, endings, bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. You guys want to feel free from this, okay? So let me start with here. I feel like with your career, people are going to recognize you a whole lot. Okay, so that's good. Universe, give me a four-card spread. What messages do you have for cancers pertaining to the love life of February 15 to the 28th, 2021? Universe, what messages do you have for cancers pertaining to the love life for February 15 to the 28th, 2021? Universe, give me two more cards. What messages do you have for cancers? Universe, give me one more card. What mess I mean, give me two more cards. What messages do you have for cancers? Authority, the truth, 
Okay. So I got a lot of yellows, okay? So I feel like a lot of you guys are going to feel like your soul is just happy, okay? And it's liberated and it's free. At the bottom deck, I got truth. I feel like you guys are following your truth. You're going to be authentic, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Um, I just feel like you guys are just going to be, like, really happy and just coming out with, like, just positivity and just being really happy, <laughs> okay? That's what I'm seeing. Um, with hope, solar plexus, authority, and having fun, having good times, okay? Taking control, backing your life. Again, with the three cups, this is probably the path trying to resurface, especially if it's an Aries, okay? Um, or a air sign, a Libra, Cord, Gemini. But you know the truth about this person. You know that this situation doesn't go anywhere. Um, it's just there to teach you a lesson. It's not something that should be permanent. And I feel like a lot of you guys learn it, okay? You learn the lesson. And there's a new beginning. Look at that. You guys are stepping into your power. You are welcoming new love that is going to be authentic, okay? So that's good. And I've been seeing this for cancers for quite some time. It's like you guys are really evolving and growing, which is great. Okay? So... Luck is on your side, new and Sagittarius. Yeah, definitely see that with love and career. Have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. And then meditate and contemplate new and new Pisces. So some of you guys might be meeting a new Pisces. Universe, give me a three-card spread. What messages do you have for cancers pertaining to your love life? February 15. Okay, give me exactly three. Okay, that's great. So, general energy, give me this moon. You're very close to achieving your goals. The universe is trying to say you're very close of achieving your success and also with a relationship too, okay? The relationship that you want. Emotions are running high, super moon. A new start is coming, new moon, and meditating, contemplating, new moon in Pisces. So, I feel like you guys are probably going to meet a new Pisces. Um, but with emotions are running high, I feel like it's about releasing, it's bittersweet, and I did got that five of cups for the general energy for you. It's going to be bittersweet, but you know it's going to open you to a new world and a new, better version of yourself with the new start is coming. And with meditate and contemplate, you've been meditating for a new beginning, and it's finally here, okay? Okay. Universe wants you to take action. Universe, give me a four-card spread. What messages do you have for cancers pertaining to their love life for February the 15th? Compromise, okay? So the universe is trying to say definitely compromise um, with your new person, okay? Because you're going to have an opportunity that's probably going to be once in a lifetime. So the universe is trying to say don't mess it up. <laughs> hey, don't have it up. Um, look for a sign, reconsider opportunity and recovery, okay? So some of you guys are probably going to turn them down initially because you're just trying to focus on your healing. However, this person is very positive and patient with you and understanding. I feel like you should give them a chance, okay? The universe is definitely trying to say, look for signs, look at synchronization, look at angel numbers, look at your dreams, and pay attention to them because I feel like they're definitely trying to guide you where you need to be, okay? And compromise. Compromise with your new person, okay? I feel like this person is going to be a great person for you, okay? Okay. So, path awareness. If I sincerely ask, I'm always guided back to the right path for me and to my central purpose. And I feel like a lot of you guys have meditate on that. You want a new beginning that is right for you. And you guys are getting that from the universe, okay? Universe, give me one card for cancers. Okay, give me two <laughs> or three. So, yeah, the flow of partnership. So, when I see this card, I definitely see that you guys are going to be in a relationship soon, okay? So, I embrace my body, Three, I mean 13, okay, which reduced to a four, which is about stability, foundations, and roots. I feel like a lot of you guys are reprogramming your subconscious mind, getting, getting, removing things that you learned from childhood that was just toxic, okay, about love, about relationships, and about loving yourself, okay? I embrace my body. I honor and embrace all my body. I'm receptive to her specific need. Then the unknown 
41, which reduced to a five. This is about change. It's hard change though, okay? It's about accepting things for what it is, even though you're not too sure where it's going to go, okay? Or how it's going to be. The unknown. I have, I mean, I bow to the infinite intelligence of the cosmo and my next steps are revealed. So it's about trusting the universe because the universe wants what's best for you, okay? Then the flow of partnership, which is 16, which is the seven, I'm um, seven, and in astrology, the seventh house is about relationships, okay? So the flow of partnership, the ebb and flow of relationship takes me where I need to be next on my path. So I feel like you are going to be connecting with a divine partner for you, okay? This is somebody who's definitely going to bring out the best out of you. Um, and you you guys have something to um, manifest, something to create that is going to be like kind of destined, okay? So it could be a child or it could be a joint venture. It's going to be something that is going to... Um, bring you to your life purpose, okay? Or make you align to your life purpose. So that's the reading that I got for you, Cancer. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal reading with me at queenfortheterro at gmail.com.